In a world where inequality keeps widening, the idea of luxury prisons for the ultra-rich has ignited both intrigue and outrage. These exclusive detention centers offer a glaring contrast to the typical prison experience, raising important questions about fairness and justice. Let's explore the world of luxury prisons and what distinguishes them from traditional correctional facilities. If you find this video engaging, please like and share your thoughts in the comments. For more content, the emergence of high-end detention facilities, the roots of luxury prisons stretch into the notion that a segment of society accustomed to a certain standard of living could continue to enjoy some semblance of it even when serving time for criminal activities. This concept has materialized in facilities designed to cater exclusively to the financial elite convicts who have the means to afford an elevated level of incarceration, unlike their standard counterparts. These debt eye centers are built on the premise of comfort and security, prioritizing the mental and physical well-being of their inmates at the heart of these high-end facilities is the idea that wealth should not strip an individual the opportunity to serve their sentence in an environment that mirrors their everyday life. To some extent, it's a controversial principle that has led to the creation of prisons equipped with amenities that rival those of luxury hotels. Inmates can enjoy private suites instead of crammed cells. Access to a variety of leisure activities and high-quality, chef-prepared meals, all designed to mitigate the stresses of prison life. The transition to such opulent accommodations reflects a broader societal debate about the role of punishment and rehabilitation. These facilities often include programs and services aimed at addressing the causes of criminal behavior from psychological counseling to educational courses, with the argument that a more personalized and humane approach can lead to lower recidivism rates. However, the proliferation of luxury prize is not merely a reflection of a desire to reform the penal system. It also underscores the growing disparities within it, highlighting how financial power can dramatically alter the nature of punishment. The emergence of these plush detention centers poses pressing questions about equity and the very essence of justice challenging the conventional wisdom that prison should be a place of penance and rehabilitation for all irrespective of wealth comparing standard and luxury prisons, the dichotomy between standard and luxury prisons is stark, revealing deep contrasts in living conditions, facilities, and opportunities for inmates. In typical prisons, individuals are faced with the harsh realities of incarceration that often include overcrowding, limited access to health care, and minimal opportunities for personal development or rehabilitation. These environments are characterized by shared cells, basic or inadequate facilities, and a focus on punishment over rehabilitation. Conversely, luxury prisons redefine the incarceration experience for those who can afford it. These establishments often resemble high-end hotels more than correctional facilities offering private well-furnished cells or suites that provide comfort and privacy. Inmates in these plus settings enjoy access to gourmet dining options, comprehensive libraries, personal fitness trainers, and even spa treatments. Technology plays a significant role as well, with inmates often having access to the internet video conferencing for visits and entertainment systems. The availability of educational and therapeutic programs is another distinguishing feature of luxury prisons, while standard facilities may offer some form of education or vocational training. Luxury prisons provide a wide range of personalized programs tailored to the individual's needs and interest, including advanced degree courses, arts therapy, and one-on-one -on -one counseling. This approach not only aids in personal development, but also in the rehabilitation process, preparing inmates for a smoother reintegration into society. This comparison raises important questions about the values and objectives of the penal system, particularly around issues of equity rehabilitation and the societal role of punishment. The existence of such divergent paths within the same correctional system illuminates the profound impact of socioeconomic status and the experience of justice and rehabilitation, the most notorious luxury prisons around the world.
Exploring the glove reveals a collection of luxury prisons that have captivated attention for their lavish accommodations and unparalleled amenities designed to serve the incarceration needs of the affluent and privileged among the most talked about is Norway's Hen prison often referred to as the world most humane prison. In some prisons, inmates live in private, comfortable cells decorated with artwork. These facilities offer various luxuries, such as music recording studios and even a two-bedroom house where inmates can have family visits. This approach, which focuses on respect and providing a luxurious environment for rehabilitation, has sparked debates about whether such a system is effective or morally right. On a different continent in Bolivia, San Antonio B Prison offers a unique system where inmates can buy their cells. This creates a situation where wealthier prisoners can live in luxury apartments with private bathrooms and kitchens, while poorer inmates have far less. This system highlights how financial means can create stark differences in living conditions within the prison. In Sweden, Oster Prison follows a similar trend of comfort, offering inmates a variety of activities, such as music and art classes, and plenty of outdoor time. The goal is to help inmates feel a sense of normalcy and aid in their rehabilitation. Meanwhile, the Justice Center in Loben, Austria, provides spacious living quarters with modern amenities and emphasizes the psychological well-being of inmates. The facility features large windows that allow natural light and offer views of the outside world, challenging traditional ideas of what imprisonment should be like. These examples illustrate the varying levels of luxury and comfort offered to inmates in different parts of the world, sparking a global discussion about the ethics and implications of such facilities. As these prisons try to redefine the standards of incarceration, they paint a complex picture of justice, privilege, and rehabilitation in today's world. The introduction of these luxury prisons has triggered a heated debate about fairness and justice within the criminal justice system. Critics argue that these facilities worsen existing social inequalities by allowing wealthy inmates to enjoy comfortable confinement, while poorer inmates face harsh, dehumanizing conditions in traditional prisons. They believe this creates a justice system that is lenient and accommodating for the rich, but harsh and unforgiving for the poor. On the other hand, supporters of luxury prisons argue that these facilities represent a more progressive and rehabilitative approach to incarceration. They suggest that by providing a humane and dignified environment, including access to educational and therapeutic programs, luxury prisons can help reduce the chances of inmates reoffending. They believe that rehabilitation